Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Microtech. I've had quite a few people ask me to do some videos on this, so I decided to buy the router board RB3011. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. And if you wanna support the channel, we do have an Amazon store and I'll put the link in the description below. So for this video, it will be more of a getting started. We're gonna have three networks. We're gonna have our admin network, which is 192.168. 88.1/24 and that's the default for the Microtech. Then we're going to create a staff network on 192.168.10.1/24 and an IoT network on 192.168.20.1/24. And this is how our topology is. So we have our internet connection going down to our router board on Ethernet 1, and then from Ethernet 10 we have a trunk link going down to our USW24 Unify switch. And this trunk link is gonna carry all our VLAN, so VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So let's get into the router board. Like I said, Microtik defaults at 192.168.88.1, so let's go ahead and go to that IP address. And here, this is gonna be the beginning of our setup. On the left-hand side, we could see the mode. It could be either in router or bridge. We're gonna have it in router mode. Next is our internet setting. So the port, we could either have it on ethernet one or SFP one. We're gonna be keeping it on ETH one. And here you could specify how your internet comes in. So we could have a static IP address. We could have it automatic, which would be DHCP from your ISP, or we could have PPPOE. Mine will just be automatic, so it will be DHCP. And we could see it's giving us an address of 192.168.55.147. Down below, we could see our local network, and by default, it's 192.168.88.1 slash 24. And then it gives us a DHCP range of 192.168.88.10 to 88.254. And we want to have the DHCP server checked off as well as NAT. We'll take a look at VPN in the firewall video that we'll be doing after this initial video. The router identity, this is just a name for your router. I'm gonna call it Microtik. And then we need to change the default password. So I'm gonna create a new password and then we're gonna press apply configuration. Now, if we refresh the web page, it brings us back to the webfig login. And you can see the username is admin and the password will be the new password that you created. It will bring us back to this quick set section, but we want the webfig. So we'll go up here and click the button. We can now see that there is a ton of things that we could do. So we have Capsman, we have wireless, we have our interfaces, bridge, switch, PPP, mesh, IP, MPLS, routing, which will have some routing protocols like BFD, BGP, OSPF, and so on. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do, we wanna create our VLAN. So VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. So the staff network will be VLAN 10 and the IoT network will be VLAN 20. So we'll click on interfaces and then we'll go to VLAN. Here we're gonna say add new VLAN. We're gonna enable the VLAN and then we could give it a name. So the first VLAN we'll create is the staff network and the VLAN ID we're gonna give it is VLAN 10. Under the interface, it lists all the physical interfaces as well as the bridge. If we go back to our drawing, we could see that on our router board, our trunk link is gonna be our port 10 on the router board going down to our switch. So here we're gonna to wanna to select interface and then ether 10 and press apply and then okay. Now we have the staff VLAN created. We need to create the IOT VLAN. So we'll press add new and we'll call this IOT. We're gonna specify the VLAN ID, which will be 20. And then we're gonna have the interface and that will be under ether 10 as well. And we'll press apply and okay. After creating our VLANs, we need to create the addresses. So we'll go down to IP and then addresses and then we'll click add new. Here the address, we're gonna put in 192.168.10.1 slash 24, and the interface will be the staff, and we'll press apply, and okay. Now we need to add the IOT, so we'll press add new, and we'll type in the address of 192.168.20.1 slash 24, press apply, and then okay. Now that our addresses are created, we need to create DHCP servers for both these networks. So we'll go to DHCP server, and we'll click DHCP setup. Your DHCP server interface will first specify the staff and we'll press next. And it's gonna have a 192.168.10.0 slash 24 address space. 
The gateway will be 192.168.10.0. The addresses to be given out will be 192.168.10.2 to 192.168.10.254 and we'll press next. The DNS servers, I'll just set it up for 1.1.1.1 and we'll leave the least time at default and press next. Now we can see that the staff DHCP server has been created. Let's go ahead and create the IoT. So we'll press DHCP setup. We'll click on IoT and press next. It will be the address space of 192.168.20.0. The gateway will be 192.168.20.1. And the DHCP addresses that it will give out will be 192.168.20.2 to 192.168.20.254. We'll use the same DNS server and we'll leave the lease time on default. Okay, now our DHCP servers are configured and our networks and VLANs are configured. We need to go ahead to our Unify switch and create VLAN only networks and then tag the ports on the USW switch if it's either staff or IoT. Now I'm into my Unify controller. We can see the USW switch has an IP of 192.168.88.244. So we need to create some VLAN only networks in our Unify switch. So we'll go to the settings wheel, we'll click on networks, and then we'll create new network. The network purpose will be VLAN only and we'll call this staff. And the VLAN will be VLAN 10 and we'll press save. Now we need to create the IoT network which will be a VLAN only. We'll call it IoT and it will be on VLAN 20 and we'll press save. Now to assign an interface into a VLAN, we need to go back to our devices, click on the USW switch, and then click on the port or ports that we want to change. For the purpose of this video, I'll change port 3 and I'll switch it to the IoT network. So we'll go to ports, we'll go to port 3, click on the edit pencil, and then under switch port profile, we're going to set this to the IoT network and press apply. If we go to my command line and type in IP config, we're getting an address of 192.168.88.245. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my computer into the USW switch on port three and we should get an address out of the IoT network. Now we can see my computer plugged into port three which is on our IoT VLAN. We'll bring up a command line and I'll type in IP config. And here we could see we're getting an address from the IoT network of 192.168.20.254. So this was a getting started with Microtik video. In our next video, we'll be doing a VPN and firewall rules. By default, inner VLAN routing is accepted. So if we're sitting on the IoT network, we could still reach the staff network and our management LAN, which we won't want. So in our firewall rules, we'll block all of that out. And then we'll put in some accept rules to allow the staff get to a NAS on the management LAN. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.